We are going to see what's on in Perth now. Emma Griffiths has something spectacular, but a little strange from Elizabeth Key. Well, Mon, today I'm at Elizabeth Key getting a sneak peek at Perth's newest alternative arts event, Strange. But to tell us all about it, I'm joined by Glenn Watson. Glenn, for those at home that don't know, what is Strange? Um, Strange is a, an alternative arts festival that uses uh, vacant spaces and forgotten spaces throughout the city to showcase some art that might not be everyone's cup of tea, but hopefully exposes people to something new and interesting over winter. Fantastic. And it's on from tomorrow till the 23rd of June. What are some of the really cool installations like this one that we can take a look at? Yeah, look, we're currently standing in a giant brain down at Elizabeth Quay. It's a, uh, I guess, an educational art installation which show you, shows you how the eye processes images into the brain. We've also got a, a lot of installations through the, the Carillion City Arcade. We've got a, a large format installation in the Liberty Theatre, and we also have a, a pop-up cinema over at the Como Theatre uh, called Exhumed, which showcases old film on 35mm film. Fantastic. Well, thank you for your time, Glenn. Now, let's take a look at what else is happening around Perth this weekend. Limits. There is plenty happening this weekend, Mom, but how is the weather shaping up? I'll have all the details a little later in the bulletin. Ahead this a peculiar art trail has popped up through the Perth CBD. Strange is the state's newest alternative arts festival, celebrating the weird and wonderful with a range of exhibitions. Dozens of artists have taken over vacant spaces, creating a free art trail throughout the city. Elizabeth Key is temporarily home to a giant brain and eyeball that can also be explored. The Strange Festival is open until later this month. Call Gary now. One double three eight eighty two. All right, have you ever wanted to go inside an eye and a brain? Well, here's your <laughs> here's your opportunity. This is visual art that's coming to Perth as part of the Strange Festival. And to talk about it right now is Dr. Minia Kola Tseta, who is the visual artist responsible for this. Good day, Minia. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good. You know what? Whenever I see this, I'm looking at pictures of it right now. It's a, an eye that, that you can walk yep. through into a brain. And I say to myself, <laughs> where did the idea come from? Where did it come from? <laughs> Well, so I'm uh, actually a vet by trade, right. so I work in the vet school teaching vet student pathology, and it just sort of hit me one day that there's a really, really large number of people out there who think they're not smart enough to learn science, um, and in my experience as an educator, that's just not true. The way that we teach people doesn't work super well in terms of, you know, reading textbooks and listening to lectures. That's not the way that most people learn. Most people actually learn through experience. So I thought I'd uh, make a giant walk through anatomy art installation to show people, I guess, how smart they are, how <laughs> capable they are of learning and just how beautiful their bodies are. So, okay, it's called Synapse. Uh, where's that? Yeah. So why Synapse? Out of interest, you'd be able to tell me why yeah, you picked that name? Yeah, of course. So a Synapse is basically a connection right. uh, between two cells. So we generally um, use the word for a connection between two neurons, so the cells that um, generate signals in our nervous system, so our brain and our spinal cord and all our nerves. Um, and it's a connection where signals are passed between the two. Right. Now then, I mean, as I look at it, it's a, you're essentially walking through the eyeball or the iris. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yep, that's it. And what and what happens? I mean, if someone's doing this, what what sort of interaction do they have? What do they learn from from going inside there and 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 sitting down and taking it all in? Yeah. So it basically shows you how your own visual system works, so how your own sight works. So you walk through the front of the eye through the iris, and you immediately walk around the lens. Um, and it shows how light is actually refracted through the lens using lighting effects. Uh, and then you go through uh, an optic nerve tunnel, which has um, some lighting that shows how nerve signals are fired. And then you in enter into the giant inflatable brain. And on the front of the eye, uh, don't tell anyone, but there's a, a hidden camera uh -huh. that's taking in what's going on outside. And it lives stream projection on the inside of the brain with a bit of a time delay so that you get to see yourself walk, walking through, basically. So it really is the all-seeing eye, then, in many ways. It sure is. Right, OK. So uh, you go in there, and now, the, to, to, so people understand that they can do this, and they can do this, for, uh, am I right? It's free. You can go down to yeah, uh, Elizabeth Key. 
absolutely. It's free. I wanted to make it as accessible to as many people as possible, so it's free. And it's running from the 13th of June to the 23rd uh, as part of the Strange from, Festival? Or? From the, yeah, from the 14th until the 23rd. That's it. So if you want to find opening times, it's yep. on the Elizabeth Key website. Right, okay. And and do you do you hear anything when you're in there? You're being taught, told anything you, as part of it? You don't hear anything. No, it's all visual. Although my um, my uh, long-term goal, if I can get enough funding, is that I would love to build an ear into it <laughs> so that you can actually learn how your hearing works uh, with a similar kind of principle. Um, but one cute thing that's inside the brain is that there are actually touch sensors, um, so little buttons within animals. And when you press the buttons, it changes the projection to what you would see as those species based Blimey. on research. Crikey. Yeah. How, how long did it take you to sort of devise this and come up with uh, it? So I came up with the idea first uh, in about at the end of 2019. Uh, and I've probably been working on it physically with the help from a lot of people yeah. uh, for probably about three years. Right, and, and so you have to pick what material you're going to make it with and so on. I mean, have yeah. you been part of that process? Yeah, yeah absolutely. So I've, I've actually, um, with the help of a builder, built quite a lot of it. Um, so the structural elements, uh, most of the structural elements we've built together, some of them we've outsourced. Um, and, you know, the giant inflatable brain I had made by a group that makes inflatables because there's quite a lot of engineering yeah, that goes yeah. into that. Yep. So quite quite a team effort, but um, I guess the, the way it's worked is I designed it from the beginning and then have either made it myself or worked with other people to make components of it. Um, but I've, I've pretty much touched almost every single piece of that in terms of making it. I wonder whether you um, now not not telling you to do this, but I, I wonder if it's ever come across your uh, sort of imagination whether you could do an entire human body as a <laughs> that, living that, art that sculpture original, like that. Yeah, yeah, that was the original idea. Yeah. Um, and then when I when I looked at how complex and big that would be to make, I thought I would start small with a twenty meter long <laughs> eyeball attached to a brain. Where, where, but yeah, in the future, I would love to do that. Okay, I mean, from your point of view, what's what's your priority, your sort of your role professionally, or your art? I mean, where do you where do you sit with it in terms of what you'd like to be doing in the future? You know, it's really interesting. My husband actually asked me that the last time we showed this, um, and I don't think one exists without the other. Right. I think um, you know, my my big passion is teaching, and. Um, you know, I love teaching vet students. That's, you know, a huge passion of mine. But, you know, I, I don't just have to teach vet students. I can teach everyone, basically. Um, so I, moving forward, I think I always will need to have both in my life. Yeah, that's that's interesting. I mean, I, I was going to say, you know, sometimes artists, they just have to keep working off the side as well in terms of financially. Yeah, um, yeah absolutely. But, but, yeah, definitely. But I can also see that, you know, if you got a name for yourself in terms of this type of art, that it mm. could take you, you know, all over the world, couldn't it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I would absolutely love that. Yeah, I just kind of have to get it out there and get some good funding behind it, basically. Because it's a great idea. I love the idea. Thank um, you. And it's going to be, so much. and I'm sure there'll be people queuing up down there to go through the iris and see what's inside the brain. I certainly hope so. <laughs> all right, good luck with it. Really appreciate you speaking Thank to you us. Thank you so much. Thanks. I hope you to see you down here. Okay, I'll be there walking through the eye of the storm with you. Uh, Dr. Minia uh, Collar Setter there. Uh, yeah, just go down. I mean, it's Elizabeth Key. It's all part of the Strange Festival. You can get more information, strangefestival.com.au. Uh, you can go to the um, Elizabeth Key Facebook page. They've got details of it as well. So to go through the eye and into the brain, that's the 14th. Is that tomorrow? No, tomorrow. It's a yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow's the 14th. Uh, 14th to the 23rd. A free public art trail exhibition there at Elizabeth Key. Go along and see what it looks like to be inside your eye and your brain. I don't reckon you want to look inside my brain too much. Uh, let's see. It's 14 minutes to 12. We'll be finding it.